you're hitting and running, hitting and running. So let me give you an example of that real quick, all right? So let's, let's say we're on this chord right here, right? All right, so basically, if I'm sitting on one chord, I have different movements that I'm doing within that one chord because all this is, is believe it or not, we're doing all these chords as substitutions for just this one chord. So even when we were here, Same thing here when we scat. All right, you hear a lot of professionals do this, all right? So I'm gonna show you how to transform one basic chord and uh, how to add dirt to that. So that way it sounds like you're playing like 50 to 100 different chords, all right? So uh, we're gonna have a little bit of fun here. Some of you guys are familiar with Robert Glasper, Snarky Puppy, uh, even Moonchild. I'm gonna show you those type of chords that they're using to create that dirty sound, okay? There's a thing called a C major chord, and that's C, E, G, all right? Just three notes. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, one, three, five. So one, three, five is a major chord, all right? Now what you can do real quick, right? You wanna add mystery to your playing, even though that fits with that piano loop, we want to add a little mystery to it, so we're gonna make it minor. All right, so we did a minor adjustment. We just moved the three or the E down a half step. All right. Now, some of you advanced musicians, um, you're familiar with my minor adjustments uh, video. You know we can do something like this. Right. All right, so those are minor adjustments, adjustments from something major and you made it minor, all right? And I believe that's in the Play Like You Series 3, all right? I break that whole gamut down, how you can actually create major chords and adjust them to create some really nice minor chords, all right? So that's a very simple thing we can do. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna deal with this just one basic chord, C minor. All right, so as you can hear, I added a little bit to that piano loop, all right, just to give it a little bit more life, all right? So we're gonna have a whole lot of fun here. So step two, what we wanna do is we wanna go into a different mode, all right? So a real simple mode or a scale that we can use is a whole tone scale, all right? So if you're an absolute beginner, you, all you wanna do is hit one, skip one, hit one, skip one, hit one, skip one, hit one, skip one. That's called a whole tone scale. So basically that's it. Because my piano loop is doing this, so I just chose these two notes to create my whole tone scale. Skip one, skip, skip one, skip, skip, skip. So that's why they call it a whole tone scale because you're going up whole tones, whole steps. I went up a half step to create another whole tone scale. Back into it. So basically what I did was, I went up a half step. So what I'm doing is I'm opening your ear. Um, especially as uh, beginning musicians, you're like, I, I just can't grasp how you guys are playing that nasty stuff. It's because you aren't, you aren't covering your basic stuff. So whole tone scale is, is basically, basically is a basic thing that you can do to really, really enhance your sound to open your ear. And for some of you advan advanced musicians, what you can do is. And so what I'm doing is I'm kind of going into a, a, a bebop mode, all right? And I believe I broke down a lot of those licks in the Piano Flexibility series. All right, so um, let's go on and take this to the next level here. Um, for you uh, beginning musicians, maybe now you're a little bit more uh, intermediate. What I wanna do is I wanna open your ear, all right? Or train your ear, all right? So that you can hear when we get to these dirty chords, all right? So you hear this loop? Now watch, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create a bass, I don't have a bass player, all right? So I'm gonna be my own bass player. I'm using my left hand here, and I'm gonna start here in C and just go down half steps, all right? And so we're basically, tr you know, train, training your ear. Train your ear. Oh, 
Train your ear. We'll, we'll do that. Train your ear. All right, so let's do something like that. Train your ear. Train your ear. Train your ear. Train. Ooh, that's yucky. <laughs> Train your ear. Train your ear. Train your ear. Train your ear. So as you can hear, we're going to put some chords to each one of those scale degrees, all right? So I know this sounds crazy, but I'm gonna give you 12 different chords that you can use um, over each one of those uh, semitones or the bass note that move down chromatically, all right? So let's jump into that part. That'll be stage or step three. All right, so here we are, step three. What we want to do is we want to put some chords to each one of those bass notes, all right, since I'm the bass player, <laughs> all right? So I'm gonna give you some chords, some nice chords that you can do um, to get you to that intermediate stage, all right? We're not at the advanced stage just yet. All right, so here we go, step three. I went down each note I had a chord <laughs> all right now I'm gonna go up so just in case you didn't quite hear it um, this will give you another take all right hold tone B flat stay there <laughs> you could loop it up. Oh, I'm jumping ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me let me keep it clean. All right, we ain't trying to get too dirty just yet. All right, so let's go on to step four. Step four is gonna really really uh, open your listener up, not you up. But now you open the the person who's actually listening to you play. All right. Okay, so now step four, what we want to do is we want to randomize those chords. The exact same chords that we just played, we want to just keep the listener guessing, all right? So, for example. Step five. I'm not going to put a whole lot of time into step five because it's actually going to take me a long time <laughs> to break it down. So this is actually a, a complete series. This is just a demonstration I'm giving you guys now, but you can head over to the website and you can download this complete uh, loop uh, track that I created to practice with. So let's go on and go into step five. Step five is more like a scat, like you scat, 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 but these are different chords that you're using. All right. So it's almost like you're, you're hitting and running, hitting and running. So let me give you an example of that real quick. All right. So let Let's say we're on this chord right here, right? All right, so basically, if I'm sitting on one chord, I have different movements that I'm doing within that one chord because all this is, is believe it or not, we're doing all these chords as substitutions for just this one chord. So even when we were here, Same thing here when we scat. All right, you hear a lot of professionals do this, all right? 
So I'm going to give you, I'll tell you what, I'm going to teach this as if you are like my daughter, my oldest daughter, she's five. So I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to break this down as if you're like five years old. All right. I promise I'm going to go from the very beginning to stage five. All right. I'm going to show you how to use, um, I call them dirty formulas. All right. Because I have different formulas that we're going to, we're going to use, or I'm going to introduce to show you guys how to create that scat sound. I want results. That's all I care about, a quick results. That's the reason why we call our, our business Pretty Simple Music. It's not so much that the music is simple, it's just our presentation is pretty simple, all right? So um, I'm going to break things down as if you are a five-year-old, all right? From beginning to end, so that way you have no excuse as to the reason why you aren't able to play exactly what you heard me play. Now, some of you guys are familiar with the infinite chords that I taught back in 2012 in the Play Like You series one and two. And, and, and although that's a great thing, uh, some of you have requested, Casey, what exactly are you playing when you do infinite chords? So I'm gonna break things down as if you are a five-year-old so that you can uh, have the tools to play exactly all the different scats that you heard me play, all the, um, the hit and runs, the ins and outs, I promise I'm gonna break all that stuff down. Now, some of those different licks um, that you heard in the beginning, like the piano flexibility, I mean, I, I've already covered that, those things. Um, but as far as the dirty chords, there are formulas that I have for you guys that will absolutely transform your playing. You know, I don't like to close out any video without letting you guys know that today is a new day, a new life, and a new opportunity to become a better you. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next video. So head on over to prettysimplemusic.com, and uh, I'll see you guys there as well.